image intensifiers amplify available night light. The dim glow of the moon and the stars, even the faint radiation of the polar aurora and the sky glow of the upper atmosphere. At the heart of the system is the image intensification tube, the first generation of which was developed around 1960. This is how it works. What little light there is from the night sky hits the end of the tube, where a faint image is trapped by a window made of glass fibers. Entering the tube, the light strikes a photoemissive, that is, a light-sensitive surface causing the tube to discharge an electron image within the tube into a vacuum. Energized by 15,000 volts of electricity, the electrons strike a screen similar to a TV picture tube, producing a picture many times brighter than the original scene. The energizing process is repeated twice more in the first generation of image intensifier tubes, a system made up of three tubes clamped together into one, gathering energy as it passes through three screens the original image is 40,000 times brighter by the time it reaches the eyepiece. The family of night vision devices utilizing the first generation image intensifier tube, which needs no light source, scored a tremendous success in Vietnam, where it was put to the test in conditions of night combat. The smallest and lightest member of the first generation image intensification family is this four power small starlight scope. Mounted on a rifle or a machine gun, this item provides the individual soldier excellent passive sighting and accurate aiming and firing of targets up to 500 meters away in conditions of near total darkness. In addition to its use as a weapon sight, the small starlight scope has also proven quite useful as a handheld observation viewer for command and control operations, physical security, and general surveillance. A larger member of the image intensifier family, first generation, which gained much favor in Vietnam, is the crew served weapon sight. Mounted on a machine gun or similar weapons, this seven power sight permits the delivery of accurately aimed fire during darkness at targets more than a thousand meters away. When mounted on a tripod, the crew served weapon sight can also double as a commander's observation device. An image intensifier specifically designed for passive surveillance is the seven power night observation device medium range. Utilizing a scaled up version of the first generation image intensifier tube, this tripod mounted device enables commanders, artillery observers and forward observers to locate and identify enemy elements thousands of meters away. These and other first-generation image intensifiers accomplished two important objectives in the late 1960s and early 1970s. They satisfied an urgent need on the battlefields of Southeast Asia, and they dramatically proved the feasibility and effectiveness of passive night vision. But they had their drawbacks. They were too costly for broad army issue and too heavy and cumbersome for some applications, especially when used as sites for handheld weapons.